I figured we'd shoot from this angle today. Because I can! What's going on, my friend? How are you doing? Uh, it's been a full week since uh, last week. Half conversed, hemi conversation? I, I, whatever we're gonna call it. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Last week you recommended Modern Baseball, and um, I gave them a good listen, and I like them very much. Uh, but I, I have to take a little bit of issue with this notion of what punk music is these days. You know? I mean, like, if you go back and look at the history of punk music, I always feel like earlier punk music was a lot more punk than even, like, the post-punk movement in the 80s. But certainly, I feel like modern punk music is not very edgy. I don't, I don't know. I, I just feel like the songs are not about the sort of political consciousness that I would expect from punk music. But maybe that's just my own expectation. It transmogrifies what punk is so that now I feel like punk is just not punk. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway. So continuing on in this, uh, I guess, investigation into modern punk music, I am going to recommend a band from uh, the West Coast, from the great city of Portland, which does seem to be producing just more and more quality music these days. And so I'm going to recommend a band uh, called The Thermals. I don't know if you're familiar with The Thermals or not, but they're pretty good. Uh, they've been around probably about 10 years, and they are also in this tradition of we make punk music, but it's not really punk music. Though I do think they're probably a little bit more politically conscious than your modern baseball. Not that, I don't know, again, there it is. Does punk music have to be politically conscious in order for it really to stand as an exemplar of the genre. I guess not anymore, but I'm just hung up on old notions of punk music. Anyway, uh, the Thermals is a great, are a great band. It's a, it's a three-piece little, little, uh, group. And, um, actually, no, no, I take it back. It is a, nope, I was correct. It is a three-piece little group. And they are fantastic. Um, poppy sorts of punk music. I don't know why the modern baseball thing had me thinking about the thermals, but it did. So I would check out um, their second album, which is uh, The Body, The Blood, The Machine, which is a punk concept album about what this country would perhaps be like if it were taken over by a Christian theocracy dictatorship thing. Which is fine that the concept is there, but that's not why I'm recommending the album. I just happen to think that the songs on it are fantastic. Particularly, I would check out Returning to the Fold, which to me is just like, uh, it's fantastic. I mean, if I could write a song, that would be one that I would like to write. So check it out, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll go from there. Not so much to report around here these days. Uh, you know, uh, school is in is in full swing. I'm incredibly busy with other things. So next Saturday, I am co-presenting a, a workshop for Howard Hughes Medical Institute at the American Museum of Natural History, showing a whole bunch of teachers a whole bunch of resources on speciation, which is something that you have some familiarity with. Uh, some new resources that go along with some newly developed films. I think that they're pretty good. I am certainly happy to be talking about them. Uh, things with anoli lizards. Anolis? Anals? Anals? I never know how to pronounce that word. And Darren Finches, which you are gonna know a whole lot more about by the end of this month. Definitely good stuff that I'm doing uh, next week. And actually tomorrow, I'm presenting at a uh, local conference about uh, educational technology. It's called the Asset Conference. And I'm presenting on using various digital structures to improve students' ability to uh, form cohesive arguments. So that should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. I have a blazer now. I'm going to wear a blazer to present. It's very, very highfalutin for me. Just kind of moving along. Uh, AP is in, uh, you know, sort of that, that, that run to the end, which you may remember, though yours was a little bit less continuous than this year's will be. And we're just kind of going. Just going down the road. Feeling bad? No. I don't know what the Grateful Dead we're talking about, but of course... 
That means I don't know what Elizabeth Cotton was talking about. References! Anyway, that's that, my friend. All right, take it easy. Have a lovely day and uh, a lovely week, and I hope that you're getting psyched for your Jalapajos. Have you gotten your shots yet? You need some shots. You probably want to get some shots. You don't need malarials if you're just going to Quito and the Galapagos, but you might need them if you're going into the rainforest. Are you going into the rainforest? You really should if you have the option because that is a place to be. Um, it's an incredible experience. But anyway, I'm, I'm curious how you're going to film your video for the Jalapagos. Or are we going to have to talk about that? We're going to have to get something going on. I don't know. All right, my friend. Take it easy.